welcome. In this lecture, our goal will be to create some pickable, pickable item. Uh, for this, uh, we will uh, create two things. First variable will be variable, for example, uh, tools. Uh, this will be one dimensional array area so one dimensional array uh, with six places and uh, if we put uh, uh, our pickable in some place we will put the number one in this place uh, also we will create one variable uh, for example uh, pick number a number of pickables or something like this and this will be zero when we increase this number we will change it uh, other simple things will be creation of one label Uh, this uh, label can be with some kind of text uh, something like this alignment can be center uh, we can change a little bit on control rectangular scale to I really don't This can be somewhere here. Uh, other simple thing can be adding one sprite node. Uh, this uh, for this sprite node we have texture. You can find it, find it in your resource folder. Uh, this is texture, and uh, this sprite can be put uh, in some place. Uh, here we can change uh, something about scale. Let's try with 0, 3, but I don't know, this looks too small. Okay, let's try with 0, 6. Not bad, not bad. Can be smaller. Can be bigger. Okay. Okay. Does it look good? This looks good. Uh, this is position one, two, three, four, five. So we have one pickable in a position five. I will write it here. Number of pickables. When we pick, this will be increased. So for now is zero. Uh, what else can we do? What else can we do? We can test this to see if visuals are okay. Uh, pickable zero visibility okay our character our character can move good uh, now we need to code some things what can we do uh, when you go to this position if we will put some condition here so if uh, tools Tools. Uh, this position is five, so tools of five equal one. This means something is here, some two are here. Then clickable number will be increased by one, and uh, this label two. So. Let me use label two. We'll put set text to this label, and text will be uh, <laughs> what I write pickable plus 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 what str to convert. Uh, from string uh, from integer to string and then we will put this number okay uh, we 
can do some more things, but for now this is okay. Let me test this. So our character is in one position, go to some item and collect item. As you see, item is one. But item is still visible. So we need to change this. Uh, this is sprite 2. So we will reference the sprite 2. And I really don't know what is property set visibility or something. I, I, I really don't know. Visible, not visible. 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 Is it set visible? Set visible. Ah, set visible. Visible. Good. Sprite to set visible. Uh, false. Which means after that this wouldn't be visible. Let me test this. So we have character movement. Character move to position, pickable are increased, whatever pickable is, and pickable are no longer visible. This is good. This is good for this lecture. Thank you for watching. Of course, we will continue in the next episode of this game math tutorial. See you guys.